Story, Guardian of the Forest and the Shadow Dragon. Enjoy! Lily gazed at the entrance to the forest, a kaleidoscope of colors, as if the trees themselves were beckoning her forward. She was a 25-year-old herbalist, and she had heard of the magical forest's wonders. A place where streams shimmered like diamonds in the sun, where talking animals roamed, and where the very air was alive with the hum of magic. With a deep breath, she stepped forward, eager to immerse herself in the wonders of the forest. As soon as she entered, she was greeted by a chorus of birdsong, each chirp and tweet a symphony of nature. The wind whispered through the trees, as if to welcome her to this new world. The deeper she went, the more she was enchanted by the forest's beauty. Majestic trees, tall as mountains, towered over her, their leaves a sea of greens and golds. Wildflowers bloomed at their feet, a tapestry of color that seemed to stretch on forever. But, as she ventured further into the heart of the forest, she noticed something amiss. The birds had fallen silent, their songs no longer echoing through the trees. The streams had slowed to a trickle, and the air was heavy with an unknown force. A chill ran down Lily's spine as she realized the seriousness of the situation. She remembered the stories her grandmother had told her of the great shadow that could blight the forest. A force of darkness, so evil, it could wither all the life within it. Could this be the same shadow? Had it finally found its way to this magical forest? With newfound determination, Lily set off to discover the truth. She would not rest until she uncovered the source of the darkness and banished it from the forest. She was on a mission, not only to find the rare ingredients her grandmother needed, but to save the forest and its inhabitants. As Lily continued her journey through the forest, she began to encounter strange creatures she had never seen before. Talking animals, who seemed just as curious about her as she was about them. She first met a mischievous squirrel who scampered down a tree and introduced himself as Scamper. He offered to show her around the forest, as he knew every inch of it like the back of his paw. Lily gratefully accepted the offer, and together they set off, with Scamper leading the way. They encountered a wise old owl, who hooted a greeting from his perch high up in a tree. The owl introduced himself as Whisper and told her that he had seen the shadow too. He had sensed the disturbance in the magic of the forest and knew that something was not right. Next, they met a shy deer, who stumbled upon them as she was foraging for food. She introduced herself as Dancer, and although she was quiet, Lily could sense the wisdom in her eyes. Dancer had also seen the shadow and confirmed Whisper's suspicions. The three animals had banded together to find a way to stop it before it was too late. Lily was amazed at how brave these creatures were, how they had come together to protect their home, the forest. She felt honored to be on this journey with them and knew that she would need their help if she was to have any chance of defeating the shadow. As they continued their journey, Lily and her companions soon realized that the shadow was spreading. The once lush and vibrant forest was now a place of darkness, where the plants were wilted, and the streams ran dry. Lily was horrified at what she saw and feared for the safety of the talking animals and all the creatures that called the forest home. She knew that they had to act fast, to stop the shadow before it was too late. With Whisper's guidance, they journeyed to the heart of the forest, where the magic was strongest. There, they found a dark, ominous cloud hanging over the trees, pulsing with an evil energy. Lily knew at once that this was the source of the shadow. As they approached, the cloud rumbled and roiled, as if sensing their presence. Scamper and Dancer hung back, but Lily stepped forward, determined to face whatever lay ahead. She closed her eyes and summoned her courage, then reached out to touch the cloud. As her hand made contact, she was surrounded by an intense light, and she heard a voice, as if from a great distance, calling out to her. The voice was ancient, powerful, and wise, and it told her that she had been chosen to stop the shadow and restore the magic to the forest. With the voice still ringing in her ears, Lily and her companion set out to find the source of the shadow. They journeyed deep into the heart of the forest, guided by Whisper's keen eyes and Dancer's sure-footedness. As they walked, they encountered strange creatures, dark and twisted, who lurked in the shadows and threatened their journey. 
But Lily drew on her newfound courage and used the magic that had been awakened within her to defend herself and her companions. Finally, they reached the heart of the forest, where they found a great castle, its walls black as night and its towers stretching into the sky. The shadow pulsed from within its walls, and Lily knew that they had found the source of the darkness that had overtaken the forest. She stepped forward, determined to enter the castle and face the evil that lay within. Scamper and Dancer hung back, but Lily urged them on, reminding them that they were on this journey together and that they would succeed, or fail, as one. The three of them approached the castle gates, and as they did, the shadow grew stronger, and the creatures within the castle grew more restless. But Lily stood firm, her hand on her heart and her courage unshaken. She called out, challenging the evil within the castle to show itself, and a great, dark figure emerged from the shadows. It was a dragon, black as coal and twice as dangerous. Lily stood tall, facing the shadow dragon with all the bravery she could muster. The dragon bellowed and breathed fire, but Lily didn't flinch. She raised her hand, calling forth the magic that had been awakened within her, and a beam of light shot out, striking the dragon and knocking it back. Her companions joined her in the battle, Scamper using his quick wit to dodge the dragon's fire and Dancer using her grace to strike at its underbelly. Together, they fought with all their might, determined to defeat the dragon and restore the magic to the forest. As the battle raged on, Lily's magic grew stronger, and she began to understand the true extent of her powers. She saw visions of the forest as it had once been, filled with life and light, and she knew that she had to reclaim that magic, no matter what the cost. With a final burst of energy, she summoned all the magic within her and unleashed it upon the dragon. The force of the spell was so great that it knocked the dragon from the sky, and it fell to the ground with a crash. The shadow dragon was defeated, but the victory was not without cost. Lily's magic had drained her, and she fell to her knees, exhausted. Her companions rushed to her side, and together, they collapsed in a heap, the battle won but the journey far from over. Years passed, and the forest had been restored to its former glory. The magic was back, and the creatures of the forest were once again free to roam and play. The shadow dragon was long gone, and the forest was at peace. Lily had become the guardian of the forest, using her magic to protect and preserve the magic of the land. She had also become a mentor to many young magic users, teaching them the ways of magic and the importance of using it for good. Scamper had grown into a wise and cunning fox, using his wit to help Lily in her duties as guardian. Dancer had become a renowned dancer, her grace and beauty captivating all who saw her perform. Together, Lily, Scamper, and Dancer had become a legend in the forest, remembered for their bravery and for the role they played in restoring the magic. They had become a symbol of hope and inspiration for generations to come. As the sun rose on a new day, Lily closed her eyes and felt the magic of the forest coursing through her veins. She knew that the journey was far from over, but she was ready for whatever challenges lay ahead. For she was the guardian of the forest, and the magic was her strength.